Now to politics, it appears Barack Obama is very close to announcing his running mate. CBS News correspondent Nancy Cordes has more from Washington. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Harry. Here's what we know for sure. Obama will appear with his running mate in Springfield, Illinois on Saturday, and he will announce his pick sometime between now and then, first by text message and email to his supporters and then to the rest of us. Beyond that, his campaign is being excruciatingly tight-lipped, and that's just fueling the guessing game. Speculation has reached such a fever pitch that Delaware Senator Joe Biden was besieged in his driveway. You got better things to do, guys. I'm not the guy. After Obama dropped his name in a speech to veterans. For, I'm proud to join my friend, Senator Joe Biden, in calling for an additional $1 billion in reconstruction assistance for the people of Georgia. Was it a clue or a red herring? Biden's not the only supposed shortlister Obama praised this week. There are people like uh, Sam Nunn, a Democrat, who I'd listen to on foreign policy. Reporters have been scrutinizing Obama's travel plans for hints about who he'll choose. Today, he's in Virginia, where his friend Tim Kaine is governor. Monday, he visited New Mexico, where his friend Bill Richardson is governor. And then he went to North Carolina, home of John Edwards. Okay, maybe geography doesn't matter. How about we take a look at who's been campaigning for him? Senator Evan Bayh went on Face the Nation this weekend, while Kansas Governor Kathleen Sebelius stumped for Obama in Vote Rich Michigan Tuesday. And Senator Hillary Clinton, his one-time rival, will be campaigning for Obama in the battleground state of Florida tomorrow. If she does turn out to be the choice, it would be the biggest head fake in the history of American politics. Both the Clinton folks and the Obama people have completely ruled out the possibility that she would be uh, the choice. Um, but who knows? Who knows indeed. As far as Senator John McCain is concerned, we're hearing he will wait until after the Democratic convention next week to announce his choice, perhaps naming that choice as soon as the day after Obama wins the nomination. Harry. Try to steal a little thunder. Nancy Cordes in Washington, thank you so much. Joining us now is Geraldine Ferraro, the Democratic vice presidential candidate in 1984 and a former congressman from here in New York. Good morning. Yes, good morning. You like my high tech I board? Do, I do, but I... But I, this Jack Reed, yeah. I would have taken you him down here. Yeah. I would have taken him, him up. up higher. I would have had him up here up because higher, right. if he's not being considered, he certainly should be considered. Mm -hmm. He's uh, Rhode Island. Yeah. He's military man. Yeah. Um, former Marine, experienced in foreign policy, has a tremendous amount of of um, knowledge about what is going on in foreign affairs, right. and that's that is Barack Obama's weakness. Very so, interesting. Yeah, I would. I would. Do you think he could right be a dark there. horse up there? Um, I would hope that he's under consideration, mm -hmm. though he's not somebody that you're hearing a lot about. Yeah, Joe Biden yesterday Joe said, Biden. "I'm not the guy." Yeah, but does that what? mean <laughs> I am the guy? No, no, it doesn't mean anything because once once I got called by Fritz Mondale in uh, 1984 on the Wednesday, I was, I was scheduled to give a speech to the World Affairs Council. Mm -hmm. Gave the speech as chair of the platform committee talking about what we were doing in the platform on foreign policy. Right. And what ended up happening was I took questions afterwards and it, one of the questions was, do you think that Fritz Bondi will pick a woman for vice president? I said, oh, well, you know, I didn't tell the truth either. So do you expect for, I don't just, I'm, I'm tell the truth? You know, oh, I knew the I had already chosen. So it was I amazing. So I don't pay any attention to the fact that he says I'm not the man. Yeah. I mean, he's got he's to keep it quiet if indeed he is. Evan, Evan Bai? He's ab absolutely an incredible candidate, too. He's had the experience of being governor. Mm -hmm. And he's obviously in the Senate. Uh, he's got a lot of foreign policy experience. Yeah. You have to take a look. Plus, Indiana. Yeah. You know, an incredible state. Could uh, be. Could, could be, be in play. Good. Governor Sebelius? Is, Sebelius, is she in Governor Kane you know, suffer from the same thing, mm -hmm. both both inexperienced on the mm -hmm. Hill and both mm -hmm. you know, governors. Um, you know, it, it said that, that Barack Obama is comfortable with both of them. Right. You know, this is not comfort. Comfort you're not schmuffer. dating. You know? Right, they're I mean, not dating. You're, you're okay. going to be running as Here's the one. Here's your I path. Love Hillary. <laughs> right, but here's the thing. Among registered Democrats and, and among yeah. people going to the convention, she polls higher than anybody by a ton. Yeah, I mean, you do recall that she got 18 million <laughs> votes in the primary. I, do I mean, there's a real song. reason, and because yeah. people feel very strongly that she would be an incredible leader. Mm -hmm. Now, whether or not she would want something like that, I think she'd do whatever he wanted you know, yeah, her sure. to do. But, but if Barack Obama called you and said, Congresswoman Ferraro, tell me. Who's your shot? Give me your best shot. 
uh, it would it would be Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah. Very interesting. All right. Thanks for coming by this morning. Good thing. Sure. Right. Appreciate Thank it. You.